Good morning, guys. How are you doing on this beautiful, sunny Ohio day? Good morning. Sorry for the uh, loud intro, but we already fired the backpacks up. We weren't shutting them back off. Anyways, holy leaves, right, TQ? Holy leaves, yes. So when I was here doing the wood yesterday, I was like, man, the driveway's getting covered. They're falling like crazy. It'll probably be recovered in a couple hours, but figure when uh, while we're slow here, we might as well take the opportunity to get them cleaned off. Stay on top of it. Exactly, exactly. But man, oh man, how are the leaves in your guys' area? So I saw this bug whenever I was just blowing over here. What the heck is that thing? It's a cicada. Is it? Yeah. That's a cicada? Was. Uh, uh, was. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! I think you're more scared than I am. <laughs> I didn't think they made it up to us this year. We didn't I really hear. Yeah, I haven't heard or seen any of them. You don't know, those things are loud. We had them here real bad probably 10 years ago. I mean, in the house at night with a fan on, you could still hear them things screaming. But look at this. that knocked out real quick and in a hurry. What'd you find, a turkey feather? Yeah, a little turkey feather. Pretty cool. <laughs> Looks a lot better. So I'm sure by the time we leave here, it'll be covered again, but we'll stay on top of it, keep things looking good. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a lot done here and get a lot accomplished, so let's get to it. Let's do it.
All right, guys, so we put the bottom stuff off the two sides, let it dry out a little bit better. The stuff that was on the ground uh, was still wet. So we picked through it. Got a pretty decent basket here. I figure we'll put it out by the road. We'll, uh, I think we got a quarter basket out there too. We can add to it, fill it up the rest of the way. We'll put it out by the road. What do you think price-wise, TQ? Um, How much do you think that was worth your labor? Thousand, I think that's a good price. Yeah, thousand dollars. Yep, thousand bucks, guys. <laughs> or best offer. Right, guys we got that big pile up by the road in the uh ibc tote i think we'll probably throw like 125 bucks on it or something i think looking at it with the wood that's there uh i think it's a pretty decent price you know if somebody wants it you know you drop 100 bucks whatever i'm not going to be offended here if you know what i'm saying but uh wanted to do a quick test to see if i could split this wood just yet with an axe we are still looking at log splitters we have the single stage that we have right now uh, to do firewood on a, a larger process, I guess you could say we definitely need something faster than that uh, Just to get things done in a quicker amount of time because time is money and you spend all day out here You know with a single stage. It's no fun. So let's uh, let's give these a go and uh, the, these have been cut since last 
Oh. Fall. Last fall? Yep. Okay, TQ says last fall. So, we'll just grab one. Give it a go, I guess. Might need a more level spot here. All right, so first, I'm gonna try hitting it with, I believe they call this like a Blow George or something like that. It's like an old school name or whatever. It's it's a bigger unit if you see what I'm saying. So I'm gonna hit it with a lot of pressure to see if we can get it to blow apart, I guess you could say. Ah, I honestly didn't think it was gonna split just yet, but it definitely did. Give the ax a go. I'm going to try to chip away at it a bit. See, that's the only thing with logs, man. Gotta keep picking them up, picking them up. Well, Sean, you do have a Logox 3-in-1 forestry mulching tool. And this stuff actually feels pretty dry, guys. I say that and then I do that. Always keep your legs apart. Don't want to hit the feet. Let's give another one a go, a little smaller one. Let's see if we can split this one right off the go with the ax. So if you look at the wood, it's got bigger dry spots in it here. I try to kind of hit those just to naturally use those. Salamander? Did you see it? Some kind of worm shot out of that baby. That guy right there. It's a salamander, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at him. He's quick. Sorry, buddy, if that's part of your tail, but I'm not real sure. <sighs> Anyways, this isn't National Geographic. Guys, I'm actually really surprised. I think this wood could be ready to go. Let me know what you guys think. Here, we'll do the uh, the sound test, I guess you could say. I mean, that stuff sounds and feels really, really nice. I mean, I'm not hitting that with a whole lot of force either. That's crazy. You want to give one a go, TQ? Sure. All right, she's putting her work gloves on. Now she means business. She's going to give it a go here. I'm, I'm really, really surprised how dry it is, honestly, but... Thinking of how dry this winter, this uh, summer's been, you know, it's really not a surprise. Line it up. Good swing, good spot. <laughs> not enough force. There you go. There you go. Okay. I think one more good whack there and uh, it'll bust. See right here is where we edit it out and one swing TQ bust right through it. Boom, look at that. Chipped the end right off of it. I better not quit my day job. Right. <laughs> I 
make sure where your feet are. If it would, yep. Good job. There you go. All right. all right, I'll see you tomorrow. I expect all of this to be split. Yeah. No, um, no rush. About that. Don't, don't split my good log. Oh, I wasn't gonna split that one. So yeah, I mean, guys, it's definitely dry, and uh, it's ready to be split. So we need to uh, get on top of this, whether we use our single stage or, you know, try something else. So it chipped away. Yeah. So we're gonna get the field mode out here super dry as you guys know you're gonna see these markers all over it's the gas line so we knew there was a gas line up here we didn't know exactly where it was but basically right here all the way up and across I believe it goes to the farmers across the street I don't know where it goes to from there uh, but I know they do send us a small check. I don't. I think it was like 50 bucks last year or something. Uh, it was unexpected, but it was like for this. So, yeah, I don't know. Been there a long time, but we know if we ever need to dig, we gotta get that marked out because I believe it runs all the way down our entire edge of the property line here.
right here, guys. I was finishing up, and I saw something white out of the corner of my eye. All right, guys, so we were mowing along. I saw it just barely sticking up out of the ground there. But we found our first shed on the property. It was right along our leaf pile here. And, uh, yeah, I know we, we see a lot, but we haven't really found a ton of sheds on the property. This one's young. Look like one, two, three, probably a solid eight pointer at some, some point there when the nubs weren't all wore down from ripping and probably fighting. That's but pretty cool. It is cool. We'll take Our dogs it, would love it. Yeah, we'll take it home. If you don't know, dogs love chewing on antlers. And they actually sell these in pet stores for like 20 bucks. He's, yeah. Like little pieces. Yeah, they're expensive. He's, he's got some good hoop to him there. It's pretty cool. ton of work here today i think we got pretty much everything we wanted to get accomplished huh yeah got it mowed out got the uh wood out there oh we still got to get a sign for that wood put up there and then uh we need to put a little, little make up a little sign too that goes on the box that just says like hey drop payment here or something <clears throat> just because i've seen a couple people like fiddling around with it hope you guys enjoyed this video <clears throat> as always Keep mowing. Yep. Keep, keep mowing. growing. Keep growing. Keep making keep money. Making money, boys and girls. We'll talk to you later. Take you out. Peace. Bye.